Captain. Oh, don't worry, Colonel. I won't let you down. Good. I was gonna say ladies first. You know, you really will like me when you get to know me. Oh, I adore you already, Captain. My God. Look at this. With the energy the gate must release to create a stable wormhole, it's... It's astronomical to use exactly the right word. You can actually see the fluctuations in the event horizon. I'm gonna be sick. Oh. Maybe you shouldn't have that big lunch, huh? Greetings from Earth, Dr. Jackson. Hello, Ferretti. Brought you a little something, then. Kowalski. <laughs> Charay, don't be shy. Hi. Good to see you again. So, I figured it was only a matter of time before you had to tell the truth about us still being here. Yeah. Why the militia? Something else come through? No, we're just taking precautions. Why? Amazing. But this is what was missing from the dig at Giza. <laughs> this is how they controlled it. It took us 15 years and three supercomputers to MacGyver a system for the gate on Earth. Captain? <laughs> Look how small it is. Captain! Oh. Right, excuse me. <sighs> Dr. Jackson, I presume. I'm Dr. Samantha Carter. I thought you wanted to be called Captain. What's going on, Jack? Six hostile aliens came through the Stargate on Earth. Four people are dead, one's missing. One of them looked like Ra, Daniel. Well, they didn't come from here. I mean, the boys take shifts guarding at 36 hours a day. Every day, we'd know if they came through here. Well, it came from somewhere, Dan. Beans, lots of beans, yeah. I love beans, diggy doo. 